This is a summary of what you've learned in Open Up 7th Grade Unit 1, Lesson 2, Corresponding Parts and Scale Factors. So today's goals, one, I can describe what the scale factor has to do with a figure and its scaled copy, and then in a pair of figures I can identify corresponding points, corresponding segments, and corresponding angles. So what do we mean by corresponding parts anyway? Corresponding parts occupy the same relative position in similar figures. So, for example, what do you think corresponds to segment EF? So here's segment EF. If you look in the other similar triangle, you will see that segment BC occupies the same relative position. And what do you think corresponds to angle ACB? If you look at angle ACB in the triangle on the left, and then look at the corresponding relative position on the right, you will see that angle DFE corresponds to angle ACB. The second main part, what is a scale factor and how does it work? So the scale factor, that is the number that you multiply the side lengths of a figure by to get the side lengths of the new figure. So a natural question that you would ask yourself or you may be asked, is what is the scale factor from triangle ABC to triangle DEF? So in other words, what are we going to multiply those side lengths in triangle ABC by to get the corresponding side lengths in triangle DEF? You may answer 1.5, 3 halves, 1 and a half, something like that. But the important thing is whenever you take a side length in the first triangle on the left, you multiply that by 1.5, you get the answer of the corresponding side length. So 6 times 1.5 is 9, 4 times 1.5 is 6, 5 times 1.5 is 7.5, and they're all multiplied by that same number. That is the scale factor. You might also be asked what's the scale factor from triangle DEF to triangle ABC. So this is going to be different because we're going the other direction. So in this case, the scale factor is 2 thirds. And again, when you take those side lengths in DEF, you multiply 9 by 2 thirds to get 6, 6 by 2 thirds to get 4, and 7.5 by 2 thirds to get 5. So our scale factor in this case is 2 thirds. So remember, here's your goals of today. Look back, review, and see if it seems like you understand them.